through an exercise. I want you to consider what is your favorite movie? For example, mine is Terminator 2 Judgment Day, okay? So now I want you to consider on a scale from 1 to 10, what was the wow factor? How exciting is that movie on a scale from 1 to 10? For me, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The next question that I have for you is, would you ever get tired of seeing that film? And for me, the answer is no. I mean, I love Terminator. I could watch that movie every day if I had to. That's how much I enjoy this film. So for the next question, and here's where we're about to get a little deeper. This is an exercise. Follow me. No. What do you think it took to create such a dynamic film? Now, that's where I want you to really put your thinking caps on and consider because there's a point to this. Number one, it's going to take money. Number two, top performing actors. Number three, careful planning, a script. And number four, proper locations. Here's the deal. You are engaged in producing the film of your life. And so the question is, what do you need to produce this film? That's the first question. What do you need to produce the best version of the film of your life? Because now we're not talking about your favorite movie. We're talking about your life. On a scale from 1 to 10, how important is that wow factor for you to be able to accomplish things in your life and to get yourself in gear? On a scale from 1 to 10, for me, it's a 10. I've got to get myself in gear as a wounded, broken person. I've got to be able to consider that where I am right now is not as good as where I want to be, meaning that I'm not going to settle. Second of all, would I ever get tired of producing this film, of putting things in proper perspective so that my life can be what I want it to be? Of course not. This is the most important film I could ever watch or be a part of, and that is the film of my life, and it's the same with yours. You should never get tired of your life and making changes to adjust yourself to the best version of you. So then again, the question is, what would it take for you to create such a dynamic film? And let's make that more relatable. What would it take to make your life this production, this film of your life, the best production possible. First of all, you're going to need some money. And that was just like in the scenario with the film. In order to make a world-class film, you're going to need some money. In order to be productive and in order to be self-sufficient, you're going to need some bread in your pocket. And that means you're going to need to have a full-time job. You see, many of us as broken men and women, we don't work. And we think that we should sit around and let folk take care of us. And we have excuses why we don't work. You need a job and you need a savings. Because as the top performing actor in your film, you've got to put your efforts in to doing what's necessary for you to shine. You are umro uno number one in this film, in this production called Life your life, and you've got to make sure that you put yourself in gear and stop expecting for people to do things for you or to give you handouts or to pat you on the back and congratulate you for doing what you're supposed to be doing. Anyway, wounded, broken person, get up off of your feet and understand that you are the top performer in your film. You've got to take care of you. You've got to invest in you. And then you've got to make you priority number one.